is 4-5, and, and so is Northside. The two teams face each other tomorrow night at Northside's Chambers Field in the Class 5A Sectional 11 playoffs. I'm sure it'll be a good matchup. I know they're uh, excited since the last time we faced each other. They, you know, they won the game. So I, I'm sure our boys also have a little chip on their shoulder as well now. It'll be a tremendous challenge. I mean, they're very, very skilled. Uh, they got some great, great players. And, um, you know, they we got a little target on our backs as well. So I expect it to be a, an absolute battle. and. And um, you know nobody wants to go home at this point in the season, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good one. Northrop beat Northside in a hard-fought regular season game. The final score was 28-27. The Bruins outscored the Legends 14-6 in the second half, and a Jaden Schmank interception helped to seal the victory. It's very valuable. We got to get our we always got to get our W's. We we don't take losses uh, lightly, so. Um, we, we just still have to expect getting a W uh, for Friday. As for Northside, their most recent game was a 14-7 win against Concordia, a week after the Northrop game. The Legends used overtime to beat the Cadets. I think it was uh, very satisfying for us to win. It gave us some, some confidence for, uh, for you know going into the postseason, so that really helped us boost our confidence. The Bruins and the Legends both had last Friday off. Both teams saw those off weeks as beneficial. It was extremely valuable. You know, we didn't take days off. I mean, we worked hard. We were in pads. We were just, we were getting after it. I mean, we know that uh, we got to prepare for this team. We know we want to come out with a win. So we want to come out with a win. We're going to work hard and we're going to get that. Our game against Northside, we won, obviously, but there was some mistakes. There was a lot of mistakes, and the time that we had off, we could use to extra preparation and to heal up and get ready for the game this week. Each team boasts some quality offensive athletes. Northside quarterback Deuce Taylor is not only the SAC's leader in passing yards, he also leads the state of Indiana in that category. He's thrown for over 2,500 yards and added 30 touchdowns to that. I feel like I've, I've started trusting my team more throughout the season. Um, I went from having a Superman mentality to just being a team player. So I feel like that's, that's how I progressed throughout the season. Northrop's starting quarterback is Keon Bates. Bates is a sophomore and has started every game since week five against Concordia. I improved a lot, making passes that I really couldn't make uh, starting out week one. I can make those passes now, so I, I think I developed pretty good. Northrop running back Demarius Cowan is the SAC's leading rusher. He has rushed for over 1,400 yards and 13 touchdowns. He has put together four games of 200 rushing yards or more. He's been excellent. There's no question about it. Um, and he's one of our, one of the best running backs, you know, we've had come through here at, at Northup High School. And, um, you know, it, it's a credit to him and it's a credit to our offensive line and, and the receivers who block for him. And uh, he had an excellent senior season and, and we want to kind of propel that here into our, what we call the second season. The conference's second leading rusher plays for Northside. Hassan Lambert has rushed for over 1,100 yards this year and scored 11 touchdowns. He rushed for 125 yards against Concordia. The biggest thing with Hassan, I mean, he's a workhorse. So that's the benefit of having the bye week is able to get him healthy and 100% now. So Hassan's just been doing a great job contributing on both sides of the ball, and, you know, we're proud of him. With the offensive talent each team possesses, both defenses will look to be at their best come game time. It's going to be pivotal. I mean, as you said, they do have a dynamic running back and a great rushing attack. So, again, I think at the end of the day, it's going to come down to us, uh, you know, controlling their, their run game and executing in the, in the run fits. Their quarterback and tailback are two of the best in the league, and uh, they got some great receivers in their, their offensive line. Some of those guys have started for four seasons. So um, they're a very, very well-rounded offense, and, um, you know, we're going to have to play very, very well. We're going to have to tackle well. We're going to have to put some pressure on the quarterback and, and hopefully get some turnovers, and um, it'll be a tremendous challenge. This is Thad Goff for Summit City Sports. The Legends and the Bruins kick off at 7 p.m. at Northside's Chambers Field tomorrow night.